Hi guys, so um, I'm at Asda right now. So I'm gonna go and do more shopping in preparation for the um, school shutting down. Cause um, I'm thinking starting next week there's this might be a lockdown. So I need to stock up on more foods and more activities for my children. So have a look on all the shelves. I'm sure it's all empty. guys oh my god so i just arrived back home again i've just been to us and been buying more again guys because they're gonna shut down all the school and i don't know what's gonna happen until when so i've been buying more and more food some cupcake for our activities egg finally we got some egg oh my god i'm so panicking this all these things that it makes me so scared. It's like it made me feel like it's the end of the world. More pizzas. I don't know guys. And then more frozen foods. Because you know, honestly, I don't know. More strawberries because we is very fatty. More sausage. More um porridge. I don't know guys. I don't even know where to put all of this. But then you know we need energy especially, you know, we work in uh, we work in the healthcare, so we need to be um, healthy and strong. We need to, and then I buy this is the only one left. Luckily, I've got one bread, guys, and other things. Um, also, you know, I buy more stuff um, from Asda, like this Play Doh kitchen things that my children will be needing when the school shut. They need lots of activities to keep them entertained because they get bored and otherwise they end up um, having a screen time a lot. And I don't like that when they're just sitting on um, watching TV or iPad, uh, YouTube. I, I want them to have a bit of break from the screen and I, it's difficult to keep them away from it. Especially now if the school are shutting down and they'll be at home every day you know uh although there will be a lot of um homeschooling you know homework to do at home but then you know children they get easily bored um you know they need a bit of break sometimes from studying so 
I'll try to give them some other activities as well. I also been buying a lot of um, um chocolate egg now for the Easter egg hunt. You know. So we've been buying a lot of them, just packing, just in case we don't need to go out anymore. And this magazines, God, God knows how much I spend, guys, with all this fun flying. You know, more of this hot dogs. I don't know, cause Richard is very fussy. You know, more of this um chocolate egg. Um, this. Because you know, I'll be doing this to them at some point on um, Easter. Uh, this, you know, you know, in the UK it's quite popular to have this Easter egg hunt. So more sausages, and then I've been buying uh, lemons as well. Because um, I think lemon is good. Vitamin C, so lemon and honey. The boys like it anyways. It's good. Need some pack lunch as well for my husband and for myself guys honestly i don't even know where to put all of this now and i have been buying as well more vitamins for my children more shower gel bath because there's no more hand washing gel so i don't know wipes honestly guys all these things that is going on is makes me panic as well make me panicking like if there's a closed um Close down then you know you can't just go out unless it's necessary so I need to be prepared if I'm just staying at home and I need to be creative uh, with my children you know we need to do a lot of different activities baking you know arts and craft painting drawing you know besides from the homework that the school gave us and you know I don't know I haven't even started with all the cleaning yet guys my house is a bit messy at the moment but I just hope, I just wish that this will be over soon because it's just so hard. I just realized how hard it must have been to live uh, during the world war. You know, um, it's like living, you know, he's in the world war, world war, you know, um, during the war time. It's just, I just wish you all the best guys to stay safe and healthy, you know, um, stuck up with all the things that you need. I don't know and that's all guys um <laughs> we will be doing a lot of vlog at home maybe things that we do things activities and hopefully it'll be fun for the children and I wish you all the best guys yes um I hope you all get through this and um stay safe and healthy yeah don't take any risks I'm keeping my children um the school has offered us it could be possible that they can go to school be for all these frontliners because my husband is a community nurse and i work in the care home i work in the healthcare we both work in the healthcare sectors and if we wanted to you know we could um ask for them to go to school but um you know we can keep them at home anyway and i think they are much more safer at home and uh, i think that's the reason why we're doing this isn't it to stay at home and self-isolate and to prevent more and spreading of the virus and uh yes guys i know at the moment there's a lot of people who's been affected by this and you know there's a lot of change of routine sacrifice and hard work and it's just a massive massive change but then guys i'm sending you all love and prayer and um we all get through this you know all right guys thank you